The official and public version of the script storyboard is officially out. This video is going to be an overview of what uh, the interface looks like and probably if you've been using Descript Classic, what probably has changed and so on and so forth. If you've never used Descript or probably are switching from a video editor, the conventional ones like Premiere Pro, Camtasia, Sony Vegas, ETC, in Descript storyboard, editing is not on the timeline. It's more on the script and the canvas. So welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I'm using the free version to show you what you can do in the free version. So if you'd like to check out the free version, there is a link in the description below for you to sign up for the script. Now, this is what you get once you open up the script. You, once you download and install it on your computer. The script is available for Mac and Windows and therefore, uh, Almost everybody's covered in this, maybe. Sorry, Linux guys, but let's uh, see what we get. Once you get to this page, you can check out the quick demos available right here and see what you can do. But let's click on new project. And we're not going to click on new classic project because Descript Classic is going away in a couple of months. So you better get used to Descript Storyboard. Now, once we do that, uh, you'll need to enter a title. If it's your first time, let's call it Descript storyboard fast look. So uh, that's probably what why you're looking at this video because you want to see what's new. So you can enter to continue with an empty composition or choose a file to transcribe, start record start recording, start writing, start from a template. All these are options available for us. I'll go with the first option here. Just enter uh, to continue with an empty composition. Once I enter, uh, you can click to add a file to transcribe. So what I'll do, I'll just hover uh, and go to a, a particular uh, folder I have here and then just drag and drop my file here to transcribe. I'll just drag and drop it there. And then you can set the transcription language. There are a bunch of languages supported. Uh, some uh, Descript is now multilingual. So you can use what your video or the audio is in this particular video and you can always set this to always prompt for transcription language very important click on transcribe and once you do that you'll need uh, to maybe add the speaker name I'm going to add my name because I'm the speaker and then it's in English but you can also still change here so let's click on done it's preparing our file it's 10% very good thing now we've come into the official Descript storyboard what's available for us. I'll begin at the top right here. At the top, we have the insert toolbar. The insert toolbar has a bunch of options right here. And these are probably what you'll use a lot. Here we have media. Media is this particular video like we just added right here. And you can add your media here and you can categorize them into folders. Really awesome. Next up, we have videos where you have premium footage, uh, stock photos, ETC images, GIFs, GIF stickers, backgrounds, music, sound effects, ETC, and so on and so forth. But that's the media section inside the ins uh, insert toolbar. Next up, we have the record, and this supports now the script storyboard supports multi track screen recording such that you can record your uh, webcam or your professional camera and then have a separate uh, tracks for the video that is your webcam and your screen really really awesome uh, tool but you can also record an audio only camera camera and screen now this is very handy uh, but we we'll look at that at further tutorials down the road and you can subscribe to the channel because I already have a bunch of tutorials to show you where everything is is in the script storyboard next up we have the text and we have title subtitle plain text captions next up we have some ships rectangles, ellipses, waveform, progress bar, line, arrows. And finally, we have templates. And uh, in this, we have uh, pre-made templates, but you can also create your own templates and have them right inside my templates section. Now, that's the insert toolbar. It's very important. You'll use it a lot, especially the media section right here. But you can also use Control alt l or Command-Alt-L if you're on a Mac. This is the script, the script section. Very important and you'll use it a lot, especially when it comes to adding 
scenes and scenes are more or less like slides and scenes are going to be available on this side for example right now we only have one scene so this forward slash is indicative of this particular scene if i come right here and just forward slash i'll add another scene to that particular video if i scroll down again and let's say i come here add another uh a forward slash i add another scene we keep going we add another scene using the forward slash uh let's keep going just try and be a little bit quicker a little bit uh we go keep going uh do some more there and so on and so forth and we are almost done uh, just a moment there we go we now have a bunch of scenes three four five six seven eight nine ten we have ten scenes for this particular footage based on what you want you can actually add a scene somewhere here and so on and so forth but i wanted it to be uh, like that the way it's been just done by the script after it transcribed my video now scenes are kind of like slides where you can actually change the look and feel of this particular scene by just dragging maybe something like a template here so for example if i wanted to change the video that is playing here you just go to a template let's maybe use an audiogram and then we'll uh, we'll see what is available for us here as pre-made templates but you can always make your own templates and use uh, later on so let's probably go with maybe something like this just drag it there it's applying template and that is what the template looks like you can match orientation so that it looks like that and then you can now make edits maybe the feel to whatever color that you want not the best choice uh, but you can do all the different things so for example let's come here play the video here and there we have a video of somebody just uh, walking on a road etc now rulers and grid come into play especially when you want to make sure now it's not the best example but you get the you get the meaning of what i mean so this is the script section this is the canvas section these two uh, sections on the script storyboard you'll use them a lot so just make sure you understand how everything works here and here so for example right inside here we have a bunch of options uh, that you you'll see once you click maybe somewhere here you'll see that we have layers the script logo blue it's this one a title is this one up here maybe another title somewhere there you'll be able and then the script uh the way it looks like and all that so you can see what it looks like so these are layers layers that are laid on top and you can right click on a layer and move it backward so that disappears so when you look at that uh you'll not see the text that you want so it doesn't change here but if you look at this we can now come to this move backward and you now see this now this is really handy and can speed up your process especially instead of having to uh, let's assume align your layers right inside here so make use of that because the timeline down here and that's the fourth uh, thing uh, right inside here you'll barely uh, use it maybe just for precision editing maybe if you wanted to make sure something starts at a particular section that's when you'll need probably to use the timeline but as for the editing of your videos you'll need the script option and the canvas section most of the time to our extreme right this is the sidebar toolbar uh, and what you have here is probably the properties of your footage if i click on this you'll be able to see what layout we are in so this is what we are in you have different options here to change uh, maybe like rounded uh, rectangles to that particular video to change like the uh, rotation and all that set it back to zero you can set this back to zero then you have the different options if you have multicam uh, clips and then we have the options to add effects chroma key color adjustments blur film grain pixel art zoom blur green screen there are a ton of features available but they are right inside there and then we have some animations that you can do zoom and pan fade out zoom in spin custom you can create your own customs 
really depends on what uh, effect you want to do, but you can also remove it. Uh, once you do that, you can also, let's say we do a zoom in uh, and all that. It's it's just basically you working on this thing slowly by slowly until you get to a point where you're comfortable. It's going to look a little bit difficult in the beginning, but with time you're going to understand where everything is. So we have that and then we have audio. We have a bunch of audio effects for audio repair. We have the legendary studio sound uh, is right here. Dynamics, compressor, limiter, ducking. You can add the audio ducking features and all that. EQs, equalizer, and so on and so forth. Creative, beat crusher, distortion, clanger, reverb. So for this section, uh, the side layer, uh, the sidebar, you'll see the layout, the properties, the effects, and so on and so forth. So if I look at that, you'll be able to create or edit uh, your content here. You'll see the results here and you'll barely touch the timeline. You'll just need just this section, this section, and this section. And finally, once you're done, you can click on publish. And once you use this particular publish, uh, you get uh, the web link uh, options here, YouTube, Blabby, Buzzsprout, ETC, and so forth. But when you need to export a video, just click on the export option here, and then you'll see this particular dropdown. We have options for video, audio, GIF, timeline, transcript, subtitles. Really, really awesome uh, settings right there. And then you can click on the settings if you're doing a video, export current selection, the resolution, the quality, uh, if you want to add metadata, ETC, and so on and so forth. Now, that's more or less like a crash course into or the overview of Descript Storyboard. If you'd like to test out Descript, use the link below to sign up and test out with a free version. See what you can do with it. If it makes your workflow easier, really, really handy. And maybe some use case scenarios I'd like to let you know is you can use this to create YouTube videos. If you just want to add some uh, premium uh, kind of stock footage without having to go and to different websites looking for that kind of type of footage, just use this. Uh, next up, if you are a podcaster, you want to create social media clips, audiograms and all that, then this is what actually makes your life much easier because you just come in here. Uh, let's say you want to use this section as an audiogram, right? Click on it and then duplicate to a uh, new composition open. And this is what we have. Let's assume you want to use this as an audiogram. Come to templates then just drag and drop this right inside there. And once we do that, this is what we get and we can actually play in this video. So you'll see you already have an audiogram, uh, but this is not the best use case scenario video because this kind of a tutorial video uh, on Camtasia, ETC and whatnot. But simply put, it's really, really awesome for podcasters, video editors, content creators, and so on and so forth. That's the end of this video. And that's a fast look of the official Descript storyboard. I hope this video has walked you through what you need to know for now. Check out other tutorials on Descript Storyboard on this channel. I have a bunch of them. Thanks for watching this video.